Hello, this is Andrew Ford for Photo Focus, and today we're going to look at using Photoshop to create animated GIFs. Maybe you say GIF instead of GIF, doesn't really matter, not the point. We'll create animated GIFs three different ways. The first way will be from regular Photoshop layers. In this case, I have four layers of text. This is a GIF. Could very well be images or whatever else you have in Photoshop. What we're going to do is go to Window and Timeline to bring up that panel on the bottom. You have two options, create video timeline or frame animation. We will do create frame animation and click the button. And you will see by default, what it does is bring in all the layers together. So we will go to the hamburger menu here in the timeline panel and select make frames from layers. And as you can see, it brings it in all four layers. You see it came in the reverse order, so we can either go to the hamburger menu and select reverse frames, or we have full dragging capabilities in the timeline. Then below each frame, you see the amount of time that each frame will play. In this case, we can select them all and go to a half second, and we can hit the play arrow. And there is our animated GIF playing through, showing each frame for a half second. To the left, we have our looping control. Do we want it to loop once? Do we want it to loop three times or forever? You could have this on the background. You could alter the layers and move the text around or make the words a different color. You can do whatever you want. But once you're done with your GIF, you're going to go to File, Export, Save for Web, Legacy. And notice that there are various presets here you could use for saving your GIFs. File size is a big deal for GIFs. Notice this is only three kilobytes. In this instance, there's not many colors here, but if you had a file with more going on, you could play with the colors, the dither, the size, and get a preview of what your file size would be so you make sure that it's a size that will work when online. And then you just save it out. Now let's look at making a GIF from a video file. One thing you can do if you have a video is import it as frames. So instead of bringing in one video file, you can go to import frames to layers and you can take an MOV movie and you can bring it in so that each frame will be a layer over here. Now you want GIFs to not be too long. I believe this video is about six seconds. So we will just bring in every four frames. And even then we have 21 frame animation. Now what you'll see here is it's automatically brought it in at a selected time. If we hit the play button, we see our video. This is a video clip that was an MOV. You can click on layers and alter the time that they appear. These layers are no different than any other Photoshop layers. You could even add filters if you wanted to. Anyway, when you're done, same thing. File, export, save for web. Now, note that this is a video, and even though I only took one out of every four frames, we're still over two megabytes. The nice thing is this updates the file size real time. You could play around with the settings to get the best look you can at a certain file size. Obviously, removing dither, removing colors, decreasing the image size, these are things that lower the file size. And then you just export it, and you have a GIF. Something else that you can do is bring in an entire video clip without converting the frames to layers. In this case, I'm just gonna bring in the reindeer.mov and drop it right here. We can create a video timeline with it, and this video will play almost similarly to how it would play in a non-linear editor or an After Effects. If you troll down, you'll have transform, opacity, and style keyframes that you could set to make manipulations. In addition, the video is a smart object, so we can add filters that will be applied to the entire video if we wanted to. And then when you play back your video, it might be a little slower because it's processing the effect, but this is one way you can add an art style filter to a video quickly and easily. You could export this in a GIF, and it may not look good when you have to lower the quality to get the file size down. But the point is with certain types of video clips, you could do this. It's good web etiquette to keep your GIF size as small as possible, maybe even less than one megabyte. If this was going out, I would definitely have it less than 500 pixels across. You would have to make adjustments to the dithering and other processing options here to find a happy medium on file size. Certainly I wouldn't have this many frames if this was being exported. And the point of this was to teach you different ways to make animated GIFs. So I hope you have fun doing just that. Thank you.